Uh, my name is Robert, and I teach religious studies at Hendricks College. And one of the things that I've been experimenting with is the use of social media in the classroom. Today I want to talk specifically about how I use Twitter in the classroom and why I use Twitter in the classroom. And so to do that, I want to show you some learning goals um, that I uh, uh, have led me to my use of Twitter in the classroom. So what I'm trying to do with Twitter um, are learning goals that um, would, you would see on a regular syllabus. Um, they're not uh, Twitter-specific learning goals, but things I want to do that I think Twitter helps me do well. The first thing is to encourage students to read text more closely. For all of us who teach uh, text-based courses, this is always a goal. How do, how do we get our students not only to read before class, but to read in intelligent and thoughtful ways? It may be a little counterintuitive that a platform based on 140 characters can help you with um, making close reading a priority, but it, um, it really does. Second is to help my students learn to make claims about a text or a topic and to engage the claims of other students. So they come to class not only having read, but having uh, staked their own thoughts on uh, what a text is about or what is important in ways that um, other students are able to engage. Third is to extend classroom discussions uh, beyond the temporal and spatial confines of the classroom. So one of the things I'm trying to do is increase contact time with my students. So it's not only for the 50 minutes three times a week that they're in class uh, that we are having a conversation, but it's um, an ongoing conversation that takes place throughout the week. And fourthly, uh, to create a structure in which the ideas of quieter students can be invited into class discussions both inside and outside the classroom. So I'm trying to uh, use the technology in ways that um, allow for multiple forms of expression so students who may be shyer about participating in class can participate in other ways, which I then f have found um, ultimately enables them to participate in class as well. So, um, so you're, now we're on my Twitter page. And so what I've done here is I've entered um, just a uh, statement, welcome to the ACS webinar. And then this is the hashtag that I was talking about. The use of a hashtag um, allows us to keep track of all the tweets that belong to a particular conversation, whether um, uh, we're following the people directly who are using um, that hashtag or not. So any tweet related to our webinar today that has AS, uh, ACS VLC, we would all be able to see. Now the way that you find um, tweets that have this hashtag and follow the conversation is you go to this search uh, tab at the top of the page, enter in our hashtag, and press enter. And now what it's done is it's pulled up all of the tweets that have this hashtag in them. Um, Twitter defaults to showing you the top ones. If you click the All button, um, then you'll see all of the ones um, that have been tweeted. So here you see my tweet. Here you see one from David Henson and one from Amanda. So that's how a hashtag works to organize a conversation. If uh, any of you out there are on Twitter, uh, feel free to tweet into this hashtag and we can respond to your questions. Now for my class, um, which is called Skeptics on Scripture, uh, Skeptics in Scripture, my hashtag is skepscrip. So when my students tweet, they tweet on this hashtag. So if I search the hashtag, then what I find is all of the tweets that my students are tweeting, which uh, in include this hashtag. So you can see um, that I've got several students. Here's Jordan. Here's Politics Guy 15. Callie um, Simmons. Um, Elizabeth. Extant Bibliophile. Uh, these are students who are all um, tweeting on the hashtag, and I can go here to see uh, what they're tweeting. One useful way of keeping track of tweets, uh, rather than only using the Twitter um, homepage, is this program, which is called TweetDeck. What TweetDeck allows me to do is to follow multiple um, uh, Twitter searches at the same time. So in this column on the left is my um, timeline, and anytime anyone mentions me is here. Um, and then my skeptics and scripture uh, tweets are here. So this is the same thing we just saw on the Twitter page, all of my s students. And then over here in this column is our um, ACS webinar um, hashtag. 
So this allows me in one quick look to see uh, multiple conversations. So that is um, my presentation. And um, I know I put a lot out there all at once. Uh, and so I hope that um, we can have some conversation about this. Mm -hmm.